Oh, okay, and who are you, sir? My name is Rod Daniel, and I live uh, now, I have a permanent residence in Chicago, but we have a summer home on Little Glen Lake. Uh, we, I have uh, been, been connected with this area in one way or another uh, since I was six years old, since I fell in love with it at six years old. Okay. Uh, my, uh, my aunt's husband was a doctor named Horton Ryan Kasparis, and he practiced medicine along with my father and others in Nashville uh, at Vanderbilt. And he died a little prematurely. I don't remember him too well. And he, but he was a man of means, I think, uh, in addition to what he had made as a, as a surgeon. And he built the house uh, in, in, in th that we came to on Glen Lake, on Big Glen, in Burdickville. He built it in 1937, I think. Uh, there is a book. Um, about the original cottages of Glen Lake, and it's on the back cover. So if anybody wants to get the book, look it up. They can. That's Barb Sipker book. Yeah. Sipker's book. Yeah, good. It's a great, great book too, and and it's a great historic document. Uh, I started coming up here, uh, I guess, with my mom and dad. Uh, my mother's, my mother, Miss Casparis was my aunt, my mother's sister, and they, the family was very close. And we came up, and there's a main house with two bedrooms and a little bunk and then there were two out houses that were built one was for uh they they brought servants with them in those days to, to and then the other one's for guests and they're still standing um the house is um it's it's log no insulated it's the real deal and, and you you just you can't come up there in the winter you freeze to death <laughs> with, a, with a big stone fireplace and and so I came up at six and seven years old. Occasionally, I would bring a friend from Nashville, and we'd sleep in one of the little houses. And, and um, I don't remember, oddly enough, the name Burdickville. I, I, that, I don't know why. I, I know the area mm -hmm. and what's there and, and sort of what used to be there, but I never heard Burdickville. I don't remember hearing Burdickville. Um, we, uh, and the only time we spent in, in, in Burdickville uh, was either getting a soda from Mr. Fallman's drugstore, uh, or or getting gas from uh, Fred Fred Lanham. Fred Lanham's yeah, <laughs> I remember what he looked like. A big mm -hmm. tall gangly, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. a big tall? Yeah. Um, and uh, and the deal was that uh, that uh, my aunt Frances, Mrs. Casparis, would let us take the. We were I don't know what we were eight years old, with a little Johnson motor on it, and we put down to the to the um, to the road there, the access road that goes to Burdickville, still there, and and uh, go up and get gas for the boat and have a soda and go home. And I'm <laughs> telling you, that was uh, you were gin and cotton in, boy. <laughs> it was great. Um, over the years, I, my love affair with this lake and this area never left, never waned, and I yearned for it. I moved to my wife and I moved to Los Angeles for 30 years. Um, Bought a house on Big Glen, sold it, and then, and wish I hadn't. Uh, went to Tennessee. I retired to Tennessee and just ached for it. I, I, it was home to me, and uh, and I've lived um, in a lot of different places. Uh, so we um, we bought a place on 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 Big Glen, on uh, Little Glen. I'm sorry, and um, um, I was in the entertainment business in in, uh, in Los Angeles and and left it about eight years ago and seven. So this is half of where I spend my time and, and we go back to Chicago where my son is for winters and um, uh, that's about my sums it up for me. You, you also remembered uh, Dorothy Lanham's yes. uh, workshop. A little shop, yep, very well. I, I, less that workshop, uh, and my wife remembers it quite well. Oh, I don't okay. remember spending too much time in there mm -hmm. but uh, it's, and it seems to me like that became at some point in time an ice cream Am I right about that? that yeah, it became Laker Shakes. Yeah, that's it. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. And um, and then the the gas station was turned into Fred's. I guess where he, his house. I guess or he sold it. He sold it, and it that later became a house. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, it's um, it it is one of the prettiest places. Good Morning America has it right. It is one of the most <laughs> beautiful places on earth. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.